Grotopia Economy, explained in a nutshell. Dawnshine is a rich Grotopian. Then he buy some rare items such as Magplants, Gross Canyon Rayman Fist and hoard it. We all know how economy works both in real life and in Grotopia. If these items are too low circulating in our economy, the price will rise. We all know the law of supply and demand. This law states that when an item is scarce, but many people want it, the price of an item will rise. Basically, due to hoarding of these items by some players, it will scarce but many people want it because they can profit from it or in short it benefit from them. Conversely, if there is a larger supply of an item than consumer demand warrants the price will fall just like the tackle boxes which is 3.8 to 4 world locks now. Supply and demand will rise and fall until they achieve balance. Let's say a new item of the month produced. Generally, the price of an item of the month costly 200,000 gems. Due to unlimited supply for a specific month as well as the demand of the item is low, Grotopians are not willing to spend that much world locks. So basically the price will drop after the initial introducing of that item. After a month that item will not be available at the store. However there's a plenty of item to sell example is Magplant, the price will rise until the demand of that item will drop again. When the demand of an item balance with the supply of that item. The market is said to be in equilibrium. Supply and demand can also extend beyond the buying and selling goods to describe the behavior across the economy. For example, when BFG breaker is high, owners can offer higher end. Because the demand of breakers is higher than owners. When the situation reverses, BFG owners have to offer low rent or free to attract breakers. Thank you for watching.